Hello friends and welcome back to another video here on Life's Biggest Questions. I'll be your host Jared Bronstein and today we'll be talking about the possible ramifications of losing a planet from our solar system. More specifically, what if one planet disappeared from our solar system? Before we explore this inquisitive question, make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified of our other videos. And if you had to remove one planet from our solar system, let me know in the comments below which one that'd be. As always, we got comment replies coming up afterwards, so stick around for that to see if you got a feature or just to have a good laugh. Alright, so the solar system. We know it's massive. We're talking about 122 astronomical units from the sun. And one astronomical unit is 93 million miles. So, you could do the math. 93 million multiplied by 122, well, it's a lot of miles. And within those miles, we have tons of stars, space, and of course, planets. It seems each planet is vital in keeping things the way they are, and if we were to remove just one planet, well the effects could be catastrophic. However, it all depends where you are and which planets you remove. So let's go in order from the sun outward. Of course, the sun itself isn't a planet, it's a star, so we won't be removing it. We'll start with Mercury. It's the closest planet to the sun, and the smallest one in our solar system. Truth be told, if we were to remove Mercury from our solar system, not much would change. This is because the sun's gravitational pull is so strong, losing Mercury wouldn't affect much of anything. But hey, we still love you, so don't go anywhere. Moving on to Venus. Now, interestingly enough, Venus is the third smallest planet in our solar system. Aside from Mercury, the only other planet smaller than Venus is Mars, which we'll be talking about a little bit later on in this video. So what happens if we take Venus away? Well, again, not too much at least in regards to gravitational pull. The sun's pull is incredibly strong due to its size. It's massive, so removing a few planets from the solar system, more specifically those closest to the sun, wouldn't change much in regards to things moving in space. But if Venus were to disappear, we would certainly notice a change on Earth. It's been called Earth's twin due to its similar size, and it is the second brightest object in our skies when the sun goes down, second to the moon of course. Without Venus, our nights would be significantly darker than they already are. Of course, the moon keeps us from walking around in a pitch black world at nighttime, but Venus helps add some brightness which helps us see. Without Venus, we'd still be able to see at night, but it would certainly be harder. Now moving on to Earth. Well, this one's pretty obvious, isn't it? If we removed Earth from the solar system, we'd all die. At least, I think we would. Assuming we're no longer in the habitable zone, we'd either be burned alive getting too close to the sun, or freeze to death being too far away from the sun. In a sense, the Earth would either have another ice age, or would burn from the inside out, which would lead to catastrophic natural disasters. The end of human civilization in a nutshell. So let's move on. Mars. What happens if we remove Mars from the solar system? Well, for starters, all of Elon's work goes down the drain, and he tweets out some pretty disheartening stuff. Considering the amount of interest Mars has garnered from the human race, with countless missions and rovers we've sent there, this one would hurt. We're trying to figure out ways to sustain life on Mars. It's supposed to be our next home planet, should Earth become inhabitable. But, aside from the effects it could have on us, how would Mars disappearing affect the entire solar system? In regards to other planets, not much would change. But there is an asteroid belt that separates Mars and Jupiter. Most of the asteroids are kept in place due to the gravitational pull of Jupiter. However, occasionally, the Sun's gravitational pull is able to attract some of the asteroids. With Mars in the way, and having its own gravitational pull, some of the asteroids get pulled in closer to Earth on their way to the Sun. Without Mars, the few asteroids that do break away from the belt would steer clear of Earth and just get pulled directly into the Sun. So maybe we're better off without Mars. All joking aside, we did a video on what would happen if Mars disappeared, where I go much more in depth on the topic, so check that out if you want a more detailed explanation. Now on to Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system. Aside from the Sun, this is what has the biggest gravitational pull. So surely without Jupiter, our solar system would be all out of whack, right? Not necessarily. Although it's believed the planets would eventually start shifting over the course of thousands of years due to the absence of Jupiter, we definitely wouldn't be alive long enough to see any real big changes. But Jupiter is known to be Earth's big brother. It protects us, among other planets, from asteroids, comets, and other space objects. Aside from the gravitational pull that keeps the asteroid belt in place, Jupiter quite literally acts as a shield of sorts to Earth. If we remove Jupiter from the solar system, our planet could possibly be hit by several asteroids or comets making their way into the Sun. This would certainly be problematic for us living on Earth, with asteroids hitting us from every angle possible. We wouldn't necessarily all die, but there would be a ton of uncertainty of where we can live safely, 
and for how long before an asteroid comes crashing down. So now let's move on to Saturn, the planet with the rings. It's also the second largest planet in our solar system, so it must have some serious weight in regards to keeping the solar system going strong. Well, not as much as you'd think. Of course, the solar system works like a well-oiled machine. Every planet does its part to keep things the way they are, but removing Saturn wouldn't affect the way things are as much as, say, Venus or Jupiter would, at least on Earth. In fact, the removal of Saturn wouldn't affect Earth at all. We wouldn't notice changes, but the lack of the planet would affect the positioning of Jupiter and Uranus. Although they'd only move slightly in regards to their orbit, it's still a change that may have a ripple effect among the rest of the solar system. And now moving on to the last planet, Neptune. Beyond Neptune is what's called the Kuiper Belt, which is an asteroid belt that also includes dwarf planets such as Pluto. Neptune's gravitational pull is what keeps everything in the Kuiper Belt in check. However, due to the fact that it's near the edge of the solar system, if we were to remove it altogether, the other planets wouldn't see much or any effects at all. Due to the fact that the Kuiper Belt, at least the side of it that is by Neptune, is so far from the Sun, the dwarf planets and asteroids wouldn't be a threat to the likes of Earth or even Jupiter. However, the objects that are in the Kuiper Belt would certainly start moving quite rapidly, crashing into each other and causing all sorts of chaos. But that's so far out into the universe that we wouldn't even notice a difference here on Earth. Now before we wrap up, of course, if we did lose a planet from our solar system, well, we'd have to figure out why. How did an entire planet, which has been in the same spot or area for billions of years, just vanish? Unfortunately, we'd spend years of research, billions of dollars, and may never know for sure what happened. But it would certainly cause fear and panic, not only among scientists and astronomers, but everyday people as well. Would the possibility of Earth disappearing have any merit? Was it another species that destroyed or moved the planet? So many unknown questions would need to be answered, and out of fear, our imaginations would simply drive us mad. Thankfully, however, none of this needs to be answered, and we don't need to worry. All the planets have, and will, at least as far as I'm concerned, stay where they are, and this means we will continue living the way we have been for our entire lives. And even if somehow, some way, a planet did disappear, as long as it's not Jupiter or Venus, we'd be fine. The effects wouldn't be seen for thousands of years, and by then, well, we'd be nothing more than a memory. Now before we wrap up this one guys, I got some comment replies as always, so in the video, what if humans had to live underwater, Brandon Galvin said, if we all lived underwater, you wouldn't have made this video. You don't know that. We might have had some, we might have like some like uh, underwater space internet uh, YouTube uh, platform. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, guys. I'm just trying to find a way to say that we'd have like an underwater internet and a whole society with YouTube underwater, which uh, why not? Like we could live the same we do here, guys, just underwater, just be harder to do certain things. But other than that, like why can't we have water YouTube? What's the issue? BBP Squad said, what if every human that died came to life, but every human living currently died? Huge overpopulation problem. There have definitely been more deaths in the past God knows how many years. If ever, We're talking every human, so we're talking like before Christ. Like we're talking like cavemen. We're talking like, I guess there's nothing really much before cavemen. Well, at what point are we considered human? I guess human sapien. Rosie Gator said, you are alive, Ron. I asked where you went and they brought you back. Yeah, you got that power, Rosie. So if you want to you know, ask where all my money went because I would like my money back. All right, that was a bad joke. I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. It's been a bit of a long video, but lots of information to cover, and I hope you guys certainly did enjoy it. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. As always, drop us some comments down below with other questions you would like answered on Life's Biggest Questions. You guys have been watching the most inquisitive YouTube channel out there, answering all and any questions you may have for us. Make sure to subscribe. Of course, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Share it with a friend, and we'll see you guys in the next one.